Hello everyone, in this video, I'll be sharing with you the new update of the Kaleidoscope add-on, which is version 1.1. And yes, after a lot of requests, the Kaleidoscope add-on has been made compatible with Blender version 2.81 and above. So in this video, I'll be going through what the new features are in this little update of the Kaleidoscope add-on. So I'm running Blender version 2.82 and uh, let's quickly install the add-on. So references, install, and you know, let's quickly install the add-on. So usual installation stuff. And uh, there you go, the add-on is installed. And uh, this is the Kaleidoscope add-on version 1.1. Let's activate it. And now the add-on is activated. And now let's see what the new features are in this new update. So to check out the nodes, the spectrum and the intensity node, let's go to the shading workspace over here. And over here in the node editor, we can add a new node, which is in the Kaleidoscope Spectrum Palette node. So as you can see, now it's working in the Blender version 2.8 and you can use it as you were using it with the uh, previous versions of Blender. And some features have been removed, which were uh, not used properly or didn't really serve the needs of this new update and those features include the syncing of palettes and values which was there in the previous versions of the add-on uh, but now it's removed so you can't sync palettes and values but you can still save your palette so for example if I like this palette I can still you know save it as some palette let's just name it something so I don't know orange and click yes so the palette is saved and if I refresh and then come back to this palette it will get loaded up so all that is there as you can see all the color rules and stuff and one more new feature that has been added is in the custom if you go to the online palettes you'll find a new source option and in this you have color lovers so if you're familiar with this site called colorlovers.com you would know that they have really nice collection of color palettes and now you can quickly fetch from this site directly in the blend in blender itself so let's click on refresh palette and as you can see, these palettes are really nice and you can quickly use them in your scene. So let's try out another palette and yeah, all these palettes look, look really nice. And one feature which has been removed in this source over here is the community palettes. I noticed that the community palettes were not used to its full potential and it didn't seem like it was really going anywhere. And now it has been replaced with this color lovers option. So I feel color lovers is much better than the community palettes list which we had and uh, this is going to stay here from now on. So this is the color lovers integration in the Kaleidoscope add-on. Uh, also a bug fix in the add-on is uh, the hue slider over here. I received a lot of requests to fix this uh, slider over here. Previously when you used to change the hue over here, it the, the colors used to get stuck at the, at the red hue because it doesn't go after the reds. But now it, it goes past the reds to continue in the yellows and the greens. So now if you change the hue, notice how this red color changes to the yellows and the greens over here. So now you can go through the entire uh, range of hues from the hue slider. So that bug has been fixed. This update also includes some minor performance upgrades. I noticed some parts of the add-on which were causing uh, the scene to refresh continuously and now it has been reduced. So hopefully uh, you won't notice that problem anymore. Also, if you come over here to the preferences of the Kaleidoscope add-on, uh, you'll notice that uh, there's an update over here. So whenever I release a new update for this add-on, you can quickly check if there's a new version available and directly update it from uh, Blender itself. So you can click on the uh, refresh button here and now it says add-on is up to date because this is the latest version of the add-on. So that's the Kaleidoscope uh, add-on version 1.1. And um, if I, you know, show you the intensity node as well, uh, both are made compatible with Blender version 2.81 and above. So uh, I hope this helps you in your scenes. I got a lot of requests to update this add-on and I finally got some time to update the add-on. To get the new version of this add-on, if you have already downloaded the previous versions, you would have received a mail from me uh, with the new version of this add-on. Uh, otherwise, if you're a new user and want to try out this add-on, you can head over to my website, which is uh, Blender School over here. So you can, you know, download the add-on from here itself. Uh, you can find the link to this page in the description. So if you have any other questions, you can contact me. And uh, I hope this uh, update really helps you in your projects. Thanks for watching.